Hello everybody, it's Lil Lego. Welcome to my 200 sub special and no, I'm not going to be eating beans because fun fact about me, I hate beans. They're disgusting and I hate them and they can go die in the trash. But anyways, welcome to my 200 subscriber special. So I had a whole like special video planned out, um, but I'm thinking I might actually save it for 300 subs or something. I just, I've been really busy and haven't gotten around to doing it. Um, so I've decided that I'm going to be doing an Instagram Q&A. Basically a bunch of people asked questions and so I'm going to answer them here. I'm not going to be answering any questions from YouTube, those will be saved for ALA next week. So this is like a special Instagram Q&A. First of all, thank you so much for 200 subs, that really means a lot to me. It's been so much fun to be able to make content and talk to people and get to know people and do collabs. It's amazing and I can't wait to do more of it and continue to grow my channel. I really enjoy doing this, so yeah. Another thing I wanted to do actually before we get into the questions is do a name reveal because I honestly feel really really weird being called Lil Lego or Lil. Like it's it's fine because that's my channel name but like sometimes it's kind of awkward like in streams and people are like talking to me. I don't know it's it's weird. So uh, I wanted to do a name reveal so my name is Rachel. This is for Rachel you- I know the most original name in the world. <laughs> It's it's a pretty generic name, so I, I felt like it was okay to share it. Um, so yeah, I guess I could go by that or Lil Lego, either one. But yeah, my name is Rachel. Also, quick announcement: I might be doing a live stream on President's Day. Not sure. Depends if I'm available or not. If I am, then I'll do it. If I'm not, then I won't. So let's just go ahead and get into this 200 subscribers special Q and A. First of all, Lego Mega Artist asks: Will you ever make a tutorial? Um, so at the time that you guys are watching this, which is either like Friday or Sunday, maybe even next wednesday i don't know i'm recording this on wednesday um which is the day that my beginners mecha bricks tutorial comes out so that's pretty much probably one of the only tutorials that i will do because that is something that i want to kind of make the main thing of my channel and cmf drafts and rendering and things like that um i want to do more of and so if i give away my quote-unquote secrets uh then i just feel like uh, there's no point for you guys to be watching so then hb underscore bricks 1985 asked thoughts on bionicles so i uh never really ever think about bionicle except for recently with the ideas vote bionicle as a theme as a whole i'm not really too much of a fan of it i d i'm not really into the storyline and just buildable figures in general i'm not really a fan of even the star wars ones i'm just not really a fan of either so yeah it's just overall not for me and i prefer you know just like playset looking things it's adakin asked what's your favorite set um the stranger things set hands down i love stranger things i really want them to make another set and have it be like Starcourt Mall or something um because I would 100% buy that but yeah I love Stranger Things it's my favorite set I also really like the Slave one that one is pretty cool as well lego underscore man seven underscore official says what is the best flavor of cheese so there's always those people who are like ew cheese like ew cheese is gross like you're lying if you say that you're lying cheese is lit i don't know what you're talking about um my favorite flavors of cheese include cheddar in grilled cheese sandwiches mozzarella um for i don't know it's just good and brie cheese on crackers so those are my favorite forms of cheese and also goldfish crackers are pretty good next gg topics asked have you ever collaborated with other lego youtubers or plan on it in the future so if you've kind of been keeping up with my channel yes i have i've done one with brickless i'm currently hosting a mock contest with mock outpost i have a collab either coming out in the future or before this video i don't know when that's coming out it's sometime on a weekend you know but it's going to be with brick by brick mocks read ditto and lego boy and then i also have a couple other collabs coming let's just say one is with duck love bricks and one is with republic studs and that's all i'm gonna say and i'm not gonna say anymore next up x studios 3000 asked what got you into lego so basically i've kind of had lego all my life um just because it was like a toy that everyone had you know like it just we had like a big bin of lego we never actually really built the sets we would just pour out the pieces and then take out the minifigures and we would just build things me and my brother and yeah it was it was fun 
And then when I was like nine and like me or my brother didn't really play with the Lego anymore, we got rid of it, which I kind of regret because I could have easily fished out a bunch of sets and sold them. Um, so yeah. And then in 2018, I came across a video by Just Too Good, who I actually watched Just Too Good back in like 2014-ish. I don't know. I started watching him in like 2014. And then I stopped watching him for a long time because, you know, I wasn't really into Lego anymore and I didn't really care about it. And then when I was, I think, 11, I came across a Just Too Good video opening up the Series 1 Harry Potter CMFs. And I was like, wait, that's so cool that they have Harry Potter stuff because I had kind of gotten into Harry Potter a couple years before that. So I went to Target, I bought some of the Harry Potter CMFs, and then I decided to buy a Fantastic Beast set, and then I just kept buying Harry Potter stuff, and then I got more into Star Wars, and I started buying Star Wars stuff, and here we are. Then Skyren17 asked, what's your favorite 2021 LEGO Star Wars set so far? So probably either Trouble on Tatooine, because it's just a good value. The builds themselves aren't the most amazing, but Beskar Armor Mando is great. And of course you get Grogu, so that's great. But the figures themselves are pretty cool. I also like the TIE Fighter, and then in terms of like rumored ones, Moff Gideon's Cruiser sounds amazing. Next, Mock underscore Outpost asks, Do you have siblings? Um, I have one older brother and a dog. So if my dog counts as a sibling, then that means that I have two brothers. If he doesn't, then I just have one brother. So yeah. Then Brick by Brick Mox asked, what is your opinion on Saturn? Do you think LEGO Ideas will ever pick more than one good set? So I don't know if you mean the Saturn 5 like Lego Ideas set, or if you mean the planet Saturn. If you're talking the planet Saturn, um, Saturn's cool. It has rings, I think. Is that the one with rings? I don't know. I learned this in second grade and I just forgot it all. So the Saturn 5 set is cool too. Um, it's really big. I would never buy it though because I'm not into space stuff. Yeah, other than Star Wars. Um, and then your second question, do you think LEGO Ideas will ever pick more than one good set? Um, I mean, I hope. They picked, I think they picked the Home Alone one, which was a good one. Winnie the Pooh, I thought that was a cool idea. Sesame Street seemed like a good idea. The Friends one, that was great. Like, they've picked good ideas sets in the past, but recently they've been picking just some weird things, like objects. Like, don't get me wrong, a globe is cool and, like, really creative, but it's just uninteresting. Like, I can go to the thrift store and buy a globe. And then they also picked the Van Gogh painting, which, don't get me wrong, that set is awesome. And the whole, like, project looks amazing. The building techniques are fantastic. It's just, it's, like, very irrelevant and outdated and... Something like Ratatouille would have probably sold a lot better, and yeah, like, I think overall, LEGO Ideas just needs to fix their system. Like, either make the qualification thing higher, so maybe like 15k supporters or 20k supporters, so that they don't have all these projects and then people get disappointed when they don't get chosen. Or, if they have an issue with IPs, they should make the rules for IP stricter. Like if they're gonna keep rejecting the office Lego Ideas set, then just take the office out of that whole thing. Like make it something that you can't enter because then people are just gonna keep submitting them and then what are you gonna do? Like, you know, you, you can't just keep rejecting them and rejecting them and rejecting them. It makes no sense. So yeah, I think they just need to fix their system a little bit. Um, And I think Lego Ideas could be so much better than what it is now. Next, Lego underscore boy 88 asked, favorite Lego set from every Star Wars trilogy? So, okay, from prequels, I like the 2013, is it 2013? I think, Gunship, uh, it just looks good. I don't have the set, but I really want it. It's one of those sets that I just really, really want. It's just really cool. Um, and then from the original trilogy, Jabba's Palace is one that I really want. And then pretty much any of the slave ones, particularly the more recent one, so the 2019 uh, playset slave one. I have that one and I love it, or the UCS one. I don't have the UCS one, but it's one that I would really love to get. It's just super expensive and I don't want to pay that much. And then for sequels, I really like the newest Millennium Falcon that they've done. It's just a really clean design with all the gaps covered up and everything. I like that. And then either one of Poe Dameron's X-Wings are pretty cool. I just got the newer one, so that's really awesome. And then the last question comes from Ethan underscore Bowers42, and he asked, What is your most wanted Lego minifigure? Boba Fett with the arm printing is really cool. I mean, I already have a Boba Fett, but the arm printing one is really cool. Also, for some reason, I really like, like, the 212th Airborne Troopers. Those just look super cool, and I mean, I could get it in the General Grievous Starfighter, so I might actually do that, but yeah, I can't think of 
other ones that I really want, um, other than maybe, like, Job of the Hut, if he counts. So, those were all the questions. Thank you to everyone who asked a question on Instagram. I really appreciate it. Once again, thank you so much for 200 subscribers. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye.